Beyond Parody, Spike Lee. 21 years later, still pushing 9-11 conspiracy theories. He just put out a new documentary about 9-11. In 2021, folks, Hollywood filmmaker Spike Lee says he believes in 9-11 conspiracy theories, including the claim that one building in the World Trade Center was brought down by a controlled demolition and not a terror attack. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Lee discussed his new eight-hour documentary. I'm sure that's real entertaining. New York Epicenter 9-11 2021. The four-part installment, which first premiered on HBO on Sunday, focused primarily on New Yorkers and their reactions to the 9-11 terror attacks and the COVID pandemic. It includes interviews with the New York politicians like Senator Chuck Schumer and Mayor Bill de Blasio, along with various healthcare workers, firefighters, and activists. He said the New York Police Department declined to be interviewed in his documentary due to his views on police. But the last episode also includes several members of the conspiracy group Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth, a group that has suggested the United States government was involved with the collapse of the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. When Times reporter Reggie Ugwu asked Lee about the group's inclusion in the documentary series, Lee responded, I mean, I got questions, and I hope that maybe the legacy of the documentary is that Congress holds a hearing, a congressional hearing about 9-11. Yeah, they haven't done it in 21 years. Sure, they go do that because of you, Spike Lee. Ugwu then asked Lee if he believes the official explanations for the World Trade Center collapse on September 11th, to which Lee claimed the amount of heat that it takes to make steel melt, that temperature's not reached. Yeah, but it was reached to help weaken the steel. It's been shown many times before. We know how it happened. And then the juxtaposition of the way Building 7 fell to the ground. When you put it next to the other building collapses that were demolitions, it's like you're looking at the same thing, Lee said in the interview. So uh, I can't believe I have to do this again. I can't believe after all this time I have to debunk 9-11 conspiracy theories, but I'm gonna. So the last time I showed you guys this video was, uh, I did a video about Sargon who was pushing 9-11 trutherism and I had it to correct him. So uh, I played the best video on Building 7 that has ever been made in my opinion by Edward Kurt. Remember Edward Kurt? He doesn't do videos anymore. He hasn't made videos in years and years, but like 12 years ago, he was one of the first atheist channels out there to make popular atheist videos where he pretended to be a Christian. He's the one that came up with that checkmate atheist. And he made an amazing documentary, not as his character, Edward Current, but just as his real self. And it's only three minutes long, so let's debunk Building 7 with Edward Current. September 11, 2001. Hours after the Twin Towers in Manhattan come down, Seven World Trade Center collapses into its own footprint. Unlike the towers, it was not struck by an airliner. How could this possibly happen without the building being intentionally demolished? as some believe must have been the case. Building 7 collapsed simply due to uncontrolled fires. The World Trade Center buildings were supported by a frame of steel columns. Steel loses half of its strength when heated to just 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. This weighted beam collapsed completely at around 2000 degrees. Steel also expands when heated. In an uncontrolled fire, critical connections between beams can break and put the entire structure at risk. This is what happened to Building 7. The collapse of the North Tower, only 120 yards away, ejected burning debris, some of which ignited office contents in Building 7. The collapse also damaged the water main feeding Building 7's automatic sprinkler system and most firefighting resources were diverted elsewhere on that day. Fires moved through the building, burning uncontrolled for nearly seven hours. At one point, firefighters measured a bulge forming in the southwest corner and determined that Building 7 was likely to collapse as well. The agency that investigated Building 7 believes that the critical failure began inside the collapse progressing across the interior as well as vertically. It was only after the core of the building was gone that the rigid unsupported outer walls came down. 
This is consistent with a video taken by CBS News. Penthouse structures can be seen collapsing from left to right as the interior caves in underneath. The first part of this unique video, by the way, is rarely shown on conspiracy websites. Some eight seconds after the penthouse caves in, the hollow shell of the building apparently crumples from the bottom as a single piece, making it look as if the entire building collapsed at near freefall speed. Failure is the inevitable consequence for a steel structure exposed to an uncontrolled fire. So very easy to understand, folks. Great video on the debunking of it. Spike Lee hasn't bothered to look into it in 21 years. So they ask him straight up a very simple question. Uh, you don't believe in conspiracy theories about the election and Donald Trump's big lie. You don't believe in conspiracy theories about the vaccine. Why do you believe in conspiracy theories about... 9-11. At that point, Ugu asked Lee why he believes in 9-11 conspiracies, but does not support conspiracy theories about vaccines or the 2020 election, to which Lee quipped, people are going to think what they think regardless. He's about to not give an answer. He's about to dip, dodge, duck, dive. I'm not dancing around your question, he says, as he completely dances around the question. People are going to think what they think. He noted, people have called me a racist for do the right thing. That's nothing to do with the question you were asked at all people said mo better blues well i was anti-semitic she's gotta have it it was a misogynist people are just gonna think what they think lee said and you know what i'm still here going on four decades of filmmaking that had nothing to do with the question you were asked you stupid fuck god damn it you're an idiot